Sir Nick Faldo dominated the men's game during the late 1980s and early 90s, winning six major titles during his playing career. Now a respected broadcaster, he's also contributed to the development of junior golf with the Faldo series. Sir Nick has been sharing some tips with us, and today it's all about the follow-through. One of the drills that I'm really into right now is, you know, the golf swing is really, can you get from a really good address position, can you then simulate your impact position and then go through to your follow through position? Because we spend so much time, and I know I was a <laughs> culprit of that, we spend so much time thinking about our backswing, especially the club golfers, they're grinding on their backswing, how, where's my position? They get to the ball, so they're full back and half through. So I want you to think about the other way. Let's go half back and all the way through. It will make a big difference to your game. Because you remember, you're collecting the golf ball. You're not hitting at the golf ball. You know, youngsters are fine. But uh, I'd love the, the youngsters out there to imitate or visualize your favorite players follow through your Jason Days, your Adam Scotts, your Rory McIlroy's. You know, you know how they finish, how they wrap the club around their neck. So you think, oh, I love that follow through. I'm, I'm going to go for the old classic Ben Hogan. You remember that pose with the one iron at, at Marion? So you stand up and think, well, there's a dress. There's it. I want to clear my body for a fade. So I've got to feel where my hips are for a fade and I'm going to get through and I'm going to pose my Hogan finish. So there you go. So I'm going to start from there goal is to feel impact and then get through to that follow through and that is great great for the club golfer because so many of you are stuck here you've had your long to short so let's do the absolute opposite so once again feel address and then feel impact that's where i want to get to look how i twist your hips out of the way you're trying to keep your spine angle at the same angle that's so important because if you go at it with your hips Look how everything changes. So that starts to teach you, ah, address, impact are so similar. Get out of your way. Give yourself a chance to get your arms through. So here we go. Good address, impact, and pose it. Hold that fodder through. Bit like throwing a ball, isn't it? You're at your target. You don't think anything back here. You think all about target. So visualize it. It's the same as that.